Today we're looking at the Phoenix Pro PTU5200. If you don't know me, I'm Phil, producer, songwriter. Now this isn't usually my normal type of video or review, but it is music related. What I really want to focus on is really two metrics. How it could be used by someone like myself as a producer um, or also a content creator or anyone that just wants a little bit elevated sound quality. So I'm going to run it through just a couple tests here. Obviously now you can see that I am talking through the handheld mic. Now this specific unit came with two handheld mics and then two body packs that we will check out here shortly. Along with the body pack, it came with two of these little headsets that Britney Spears might be using on stage, as well as two lavalier mics that obviously a speaker could clip on for a video or again, this would probably be a little more on that content creator piece. So I'll let you know how it sounds. The body pack does sync wirelessly. So this is a complete wireless unit. So that may be a pro for you and why you might be looking out for it. Now, overall, the setup was incredibly easy right out of the box. All I had to do was obviously plug it into the wall. And then there is one line going to my audio interface. It is the line out going straight to the front of my Apollo twin right into the line in. And it comes also with one of your the little adapter pieces in case your uh, line in is you got the bigger plug goes to the single. So I would assume that you could probably directly plug this into your computer if you just had a 3.5 jack there. But Again, I just plugged it in one cable, didn't even use the XLRs on the back. You can send each of the four signals individually per one XLR cable to a speaker system or something like that. But again, in my case, it is one line out going to the one line in of the Apollo Twin. And then I just have the Apollo Twins preamp adjusting. That way I just have these knobs down here set at 75% or so. And then I use the preamp and then I just did some initial gain setting, gain staging that I would for any other mic. Now we switch over to the body pack and I have went on to the little headset piece here. You're probably going to hear a little bit more wind, but this might be for someone more probably on an intercom system. I can't imagine any uh, producer or singer wanting to use this. Um, I'm hearing a lot of um, my breathing, that type of thing, even with um, the windscreen on here. And if I listen real closely, I hear maybe a little bit of some of the noise from frequency. We maybe we'll try changing a frequency here shortly. On that note of the frequency, don't let all these frequency numbers scare you. It's actually very easy to switch frequencies. It comes with 25 preset channels. And how we would do that is we will literally just press set. And let's say I want to go to channel six. It's going to it switch to 560.6 here and it automatically switched channel C here to that frequency. So I didn't have to go pick a frequency or, or anything like that. I will literally switch the frequency here and then you'll see it change by itself right down there. And here we are on the lavalier mic again, plugged into the same body pack that my little Britney Spears headset was plugged into. And this is where I really think it could be beneficial for content creators, even like myself here, because now with two body packs and it being completely wireless, synced to one system, and right now it's going straight into Logic Pro recording real time as I'm talking, and there's not going to be a lot of post transfer because currently what I do for a lot of my videos if you ever see the little blinking box on the front of my shirt I use the DJI mic that's wireless and it's great I love that it's small compact um, I plug it into USB-C transfer the audio files over but I just like this because it is wireless I can move around I can talk do whatever um, so this could be a great fit depending on if you like the overall sound. Now for my initial test, the handheld mic was the clear winner on overall audio quality, at least for the talking portion here. There wasn't a lot of feedback. You're not hearing a lot of the, the breathing and plosives, except for when I just said the word plosive on here, but it does come with this windscreen. So let's take it off. You have two options to choose from. 
One of the systems comes with four handheld mics. So if you're looking for more mics and for that type of thing, that's probably what you're going to want to be shooting a little closer for. Or the system that I received has two handheld mics, two of the body packs coming with the two Britney Spears headsets. I don't know what they're called and two lavalier mics. I figured that'd be a lot more useful for my case because there's not many times I need four total mics. But here it is without the windscreen on. And the reason that I have that pop filter or windscreen on here is just because it picks up a lot of the breathing and the plosives. And for what I do, I wanna to try to limit those types of things. Now, the more I'm using this system here, the more I'm liking it. I think the problem when I first tested this system out, I was like, eh. And what I didn't do appropriately was gain stage. So I was having to turn up the volume a lot on my audio interface versus turning up the preamp. If you don't know how to gain stage, there's a million videos on that. But essentially, you're just wanting to find a good level with your preamp with the signal going in just to try to eliminate some of the noise floor. So Doing that, I have it on average hitting around negative 12 uh, dBs. So with that, I'm liking the overall quality. I like the utility. I can, I feel like a talk show host like this, but we'll see how the lavalier sound mic. But let's test out some of the singing. You are not judging the quality of my singing, just judging the quality of capturing the audio because we will be going straight into Logic Pro for this. Laid there again last night, too afraid to fall asleep. Cause every time that he shuts his eyes, the memory repeats. So that was one take, obviously raw, no effects. I'm gonna do just a very little bit of initial tweaking that I would do if I was gonna send a producer friend a rough draft. And let's hear how that sounds. Lay there again last night, too afraid to fall asleep. Cause every time that he shuts his eyes, the memory repeats. Out there fighting, side by side. Bullets flying, and brothers died. Accepts another night all to himself. So there you have it. That is the Phoenix Pro PTU 5200. Again, it comes in two different versions. The version I have is two handheld mics, two body packs, and those body packs come with the two lavaliers and the two headsets. I guess I'll stop referring to my uh, childhood crush there. And then the other version comes with four handheld mics. I think the version with the four handheld mics is currently going for around $220. And then the version that I have here run you an extra $25. But again, you get a lot more utility with the body packs. So I hope that this review helped. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or what you thought on the overall sound quality. But until next time, I'm Phil. Keep creating music.